Hi everyone, I hope you had a great week and welcome to another five round pub quiz. If it's your first time here, then welcome to my channel. It's a very easy game to play. There are 60 points available in total. All I'll say, if you are gonna keep track of your score, uh, get yourself a pen and paper, just makes life a little bit easier. So to start with, we will go through the answer to last week's tiebreaker question. The question was, how many royal families are there in the world? How many countries have a royal family? I did make a boo-boo. I didn't specify whether to include Commonwealth or not. The answer is 43 which does include the Commonwealth. And because I didn't specify, I've excluded that from the leaderboard. So there are a couple of ties, but it didn't make too much difference. So we'll start off by looking at last week's scores. We'll start with the single players. This is everybody who finished between fifth and ninth. There were 7,756 players as well. So very good job if you made that list. Very difficult to do so. So well done to all of you, and we'll look at third place. It's a joint third place this week, which is Walter and Adam, both with a brilliant 56 out of 60. Well done, you two. Very, very impressive quizzing. And second place this week is Lily with 57 out of 60. Excellent score, Lily. Well done. Very good. And the top score this week is somebody who plays all my quizzes, is Ludo with a superb 59 excellent ludo very very good uh, well done to all you players and a big thank you to all the single players who played liked and commented very much appreciated so we'll move on to the teams there's everybody who finished between fifth and tenth so well done to all you teams a few new teams on there as well so well done to you And the two teams that finished third is Christopher Nolan and Jordan and Husband. Sorry, I didn't catch your name. Both with a brilliant 59 out of 60. Excellent job. Well done, you two teams. Very good. But this week, joint first place is Marianne, Nikita and Shikana and the Case family, both with 60 out of 60. Excellent. Well done, you two. Uh, well done to all of you. And again, a huge thank you to all the teams, uh, all the players, everybody who played, liked and commented. Massive thank you. So moving on to this week's quiz, as always, there are five rounds. Round one is a picture round. Round two is an entertainment round. Round three this week is a geography round. Round four is an anagrams round. And the final round is a general knowledge round. I will give you answers after round two, after round three, and after the final rounds. As always, I hope you enjoy and good luck. Okay, round one is a picture round. There are 10 pictures of famous people, places, etc. And you'll have 13 seconds for each. Number one. Can you name this TV or movie star? Number two. Who is this from the world of music? Number three, name the sports star. Number four, new round this week. Uh, who is this from a picture of when they were young? Uh, the clue is they are English. Number five, which company has this logo? Number six, which well-known figure have I warped? And I will give you a clue, she is American. Number seven, can you get the song title from this animation? Number eight, which country does this flag belong to? Number nine, name the film.
And the last one, number 10. What is this a close-up of? Okay, round two is the entertainment round. There are 10 questions and you'll have around 14 seconds for each. Number one, which character in The Wizard of Oz asked for a heart? Number two, running from 1977 to 1986, which American TV series took place on the luxury passenger cruise ship, the MS Pacific Princess? Number three, in which year did Queen have their first UK number one single? And you can be two years above or below with your guess. Number four, CNN was the first 24 hour news channel in the world. In which decade did it launch? Number five, John McVeigh, Peter Green and Jeremy Spencer were three of the four original members of which band? Number six, who does Will Ferrell play in the 2004 film Anchorman? Number seven, the original Lord of the Rings film trilogy was filmed entirely in which country? Number eight, Steven Spielberg, sorry, Steven Spielberg has only won three Oscars. Two were for the film Schindler's List, name the other film. Number nine, which band had hit songs in the 1990s with Barbie Girl and Turn Back Time? And the last one, number 10. What is the name of the Shanghai nightclub at the beginning of the 1984 film Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom? Was it Club Obi-Wan or Club Yoda? Okay, that's the end of round two. I will go through the answers and then we'll go straight into round three. Uh, also, sorry the quiz is out a little later than usual. I'd already recorded it, but a slight technical issue. I've had to do pretty much the whole thing all over again. So uh, yeah, sorry for that. And hopefully back to normal next week. Okay, the answers for round one. Number one, this TV or movie star is Jodie Foster. Number two, from the world of music, it is The Weather Girls. Number three, the sports star. He was married to Shakira as well. That is Gerard Piquet. Uh, number four, the new one, a picture from when they were young. That is Ricky Gervais. Well done if you got that one. Number five, which company has this logo? It is Louis Vuitton. Number six, which well-known figure have I warped? From America, it is Nancy Pelosi. And number seven, the song. The song is All Shook Up. Number eight, the flag. The flag belongs to Cambodia. Number nine, did you get the film? Famous scene, it is Alien. And the last one, the close-up. 
it's a close-up of a cheese grater. So the answers for round two, number one, which character in The Wizard of Oz asked for a heart? That was the Tin Man. Number two, which American TV series took place on the luxury cruise ship, the MS Pacific Princess, that is The Love Boat? Number three, in which year did Queen have the first UK number one single? So it's 1975, so anywhere between 73 to 77 for the point. Number four, CNN was uh, launched in which decade? It was launched in the 1980s. I think it was exactly 1980. Uh, number five, John McVie, Peter Green and Jeremy Spencer were all members of Fleetwood Mac. Uh, number six, Will Ferrell played who in Anchorman? He played Ron Burgundy. Number seven, Lord of the Rings. The original Lord of the Rings was filmed in which country? The country was New Zealand. Number eight, Steven Spielberg has won three Oscars, two with a Schindler's List. The other one was for Saving Private Ryan. Number nine, Barbara Girl and Turn Back Time were hits for... They were both hits for Aqua. And the last one, the name of the uh, club in Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, Club Obi-Wan or Club Yoda, it is Club Obi-Wan. Okay, round three is the geography rounds. This is a round where there are two points available per question, so you have 20 points up for grabs. It's all about capital cities and flags. Uh, flags with a slight twist. So we'll go through the capital cities first. You can see the name of a country in the middle of your screen, three possible uh, capital cities at the bottom. Pick the correct one for that country and you will get a point. The second section, you're gonna see a picture of that country's national flag above its name and a section of it has been covered up with something that looks like this. So for the second point, what you have to do is guess what color is underneath that banner, what color has been covered up. Uh, just a little side note, for example, if you were to see red somewhere on the flag, it could still be red underneath that banner. So I hope that makes sense. I've given you 20 seconds for each one. I hope you enjoy and good luck.
So the answers for round three, number one, the capital of Thailand is Bangkok. And the colour that's been covered up is blue. So a point for Bangkok and a point if you said blue. Number two, the capital of Hungary is Budapest. And the colour is green. Number three, the capital of Jamaica is Kingston. And for the second point, the colour again is green. Number four, the capital of Senegal, Dakar. And the cover colour once again is green. Well done if you got that one. Number five, New Zealand. The capital of New Zealand is Wellington. And the colour of their stars is red. Number six, the capital of Finland is Helsinki. And for the second point, the colour is blue. Number seven, Uganda is Kampala. And the colour is yellow. Number eight, the capital of Bhutan is Timpu. And the colour of their dragon is white. Number nine, Peru. Capital Peru is Lima. And the colour is red. And the last one, South Korea. Nice easy one for the capital. The capital is Seoul. And the colour is blue. Okay, that's the end of round three. I hope it all made sense and you enjoyed it. We will now go into round four and five. The answers will follow immediately. And remember at the end of the quiz, there is that tiebreaker, so hold on for that. Uh, and this week it will work. Okay, round four is the anagrams round. There are 10 in total to do. The subject of each anagram will be at the bottom. I have given you 15 seconds for each one. Best of luck.
Okay, round five is the general knowledge round. There are 10 questions in total and you have around 15 seconds for each. Number one, Lula da Silva is the current president of which country? Number two, how long is a professional game of ice hockey? In regulation time, no overtime. Number three, which country is the largest producer of oil? Number four, which author wrote the Hunger Games book series? Number five, what is the largest muscle in the human body? Number six, which two breeds of dog are bred together to make a corgle? Number seven, xenophobia is a fear of which animal? Number eight, in which decade was the United Nations established? Number nine, in which year did Apple release the first iPhone, 2005 or 2007? And the last one, number 10, Mount Kilimanjaro is in which country? Okay, the answers for round four, the anagrams round, number one, uh, the British sports star is David Beckham. Number two, <laughs> Dag Mascara, the country is Madagascar. Number three, Pleasing Groins, cocktail is a Singapore sling. Number four, Gate Crash Haiti, Haiti, sorry, the author is Agatha Christie. Number five, Nubby Guns, cartoon character, Bugs Bunny. Number six, Old West Action, an actor, is Clint Eastwood. Number seven, Lady Klopp, a band, Coldplay. Number eight, Tigerish Picture, game show, The Price is Right. Number nine, Ice and Ham, a US state, Michigan. And the last one, number 10, 01 Mail. The film is Home Alone. So the answers for round five, the general knowledge round. Lula da Silva is a current president of which country? He's a president of Brazil. Number two, how long is a professional game of ice hockey? In regulation time is 60 minutes. I think it's uh, three lots of 20, I think. Uh, number three, which country is the largest producer of oil? The answer is the USA.
I would have thought it would be Saudi, but I think they were number two. Uh, number four, which author wrote the Hunger Games book series? It was written by Suzanne Collins. Number five, what is the largest muscle in the human body? It is the gluteus maximus. Number seven, which two breeds of dogs are bred together to make a corgi? You breed a corgi and a beagle. Number seven, xenophobia is a fear of which animal? Continuing from the last question, it's a fear of dogs. Number eight, in which decade was the United Nations established? It was the 1940s. Number nine, in which did Apple release their first iPhone, 2005 or 2007? Well done, if you said 2007. And the last one, Mount Kilimanjaro is in which country? It's in Tanzania. Okay, now for this week's tiebreaker question. Remember, when you post your score, please add your tiebreaker guess. It could make all the difference. So this week's tiebreaker question is, between June 2007 to January 2023, in total, how many iPhones have been sold? So between 2007 to January 2023, how many iPhones have been sold? Good luck with your guess, and I'll give you a hint. Think big, think very, very big. Okay, that's the end of the quiz. A massive thank you for playing. It really is appreciated. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please click the like button. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe and you won't miss any future videos. Also, once again, really sorry it's late. I've recorded the whole thing. And when I was playing it back, I realized I made a huge mistake with the sounds. So I pretty much had to do the whole thing again. Um, yeah, slightly frustrating, but uh, you live and learn. So thanks again for playing. Enjoy your Sunday, I guess, and see you next week.